Hello, I'm Karina Morocco with EBD Group, and today I'm joined by Dr. Steve Yang. He is the co-CEO of Wushi AppTech. Thank you for joining us today, Dr. Yang. Hi, Karina. It's a pleasure to be here. Great. So let's just get started. And could you give us a quick snapshot of Wushi AppTech? Hi, Karina. Yeah, certainly. I would like to uh, just give you a quick update of where Wushi AppTech is today. Uh, we are an enabler of uh, innovation, a trusted partner, and a global contributor. Uh, as of um, uh, November 30th, we have uh, over 44,000 employees. Out of those, about uh, 42,000 are scientists. We have a global enabling platform with 32 sites in nine different countries. Uh, most importantly, we uh, have now more than 5,900 customers. Of those, uh, over 1,000 are new customers. We have a unique business model, which is called CRDMO and a CTDMO. The CRDMO refers to contract research, development, and manufacturing organization, support chemistry drug discovery, development, uh, preclinical testing, and manufacturing. We also have a CTDMO business model, which stands for contract testing, development, and manufacturing organization for our cell and gene therapy business. These models allow us to build a global enabling platform and continue to support our customers worldwide. Despite the challenges and uncertainties posed by COVID, we continue to grow and strengthen our platform uh, in 2022. I'll be more than happy to share more details with you. So can you tell us some of those new capabilities that you're building? We are building uh, new capabilities across discovery, preclinical development, as well as uh, manufacturing, particularly focus on what we call new modalities. This including oligos, peptides, and uh, many complex to synthesize molecules uh, that target uh, uh, traditionally undruggable targets. Let me give you a few examples. Uh, for our chemistry CRDMO business, we have built end-to-end uh, -end capabilities uh, in peptides and oligos, allow us to serving customers from discovery all the way to GMP uh, manufacturing. And those molecules uh, pose substantial scientific challenges uh, to synthesize, to analyze, and to purify. And uh, our teams has developed uh, unique capabilities uh, and, um, and the substantial capacities that enable us to serve uh, our worldwide customers. For example, we have uh, over 1,000 chemists uh, and uh, working on targeted protein degraders, uh, uh, sometimes uh, referring to as Protax. These are molecules uh, that are very difficult to synthesize and, uh, and also uh, require substantial expertise. And we have not only built strengths in chemistry, but also biology and preclinical testing uh, to uh, help our customers to work on this type of new modalities. Another area we have built the new capabilities in oligos and RNA-based therapies. Again, we have capabilities uh, in synthesis, analysis, purification, biology assay development, preclinical uh, testing, as well as manufacturing. Those uh, integrated one-stop shop end-to-end -end capabilities allow us to su substantially accelerate project delivery for our customers uh, in this uh, exciting area where many new innovative therapies have been developed. In addition to our work regarding the new modalities, we have also developed uh, new assays and new models in disease that are important to our, to our industry. For oncology and immunology, we have uh, over 1,000 scientists uh, uh, in working in this area in biology alone, uh, providing comprehensive in vitro and in vivo capabilities. In neuroscience, we have built new assays and the new animal models allow us to help our customers to test the the efficacy of and the pharmacology of their drugs uh, uh, in um, uh, many uh, 
neurodegenerative disease and obviously infectious disease uh, is an important area of focus. And we have built a center of excellence around virology, not only uh, uh, leveraging our traditional strengths uh, in uh, disease such as HCV, HPV, we have also recently enabled many customers working on COVID-19 related uh, new drug discovery. And this has uh, really accelerated uh, their drug discovery and development process. And so what are some new capacities that you're building? Wuxi Aptech has been building global capacities uh, around the world to address our customers' need. Last year, we acquired a manufacturing facility from BMS in Switzerland. Uh, this year, we broke ground on a new manufacturing site in Delaware, uh, United States. And this allows us to uh, have a, a substantial manufacturing base uh, in US. We also announced a new R&D and manufacturing site in Singapore with uh, 1.4 billion of uh, long-term investment. Uh, these new sites will allow us to uh, really uh, providing a global footprint for our CRDMO business model and serve our global customers better. In our cell and gene therapy CTDMO model, we have also um, built new facilities uh, in Philadelphia with some new testing capacities and in Shanghai uh, with uh, new uh, service capabilities. In our preclinical business, which uh, we are already the largest in Asia Pacific, we'll increase our capacity by 50% by building a new campus in Nantong Qidong, uh, not far away from Shanghai. Uh, this allows us to have a second center for GLP preclinical safety evaluation and uh, DMPK and bioanalytical service. We have also co-localized uh, chemistry and biology uh, in this uh, large new campus, allow us to uh, serve customers uh, uh, from discovery and the preclinical in a seamless manner. Obviously, we have also uh, other large uh, new uh, uh, manufacturing facilities uh, within China that involving high potency uh, flow chemistry and oligo and peptide. Our discovery uh, chemistry team has also uh, with a continued expanded capacity, including uh, new sites in Chengdu and uh, Wuhan. Overall, we are very excited about uh, those new campuses. We have also designed our campuses uh, so that they meet the uh, highest standard. And uh, we, at a corporate level, has a high, uh, has a high standard and a strong commitment on ESG. Uh, we received the uh, MRCI uh, rating of uh, AA, and this is a very high rating to demonstrate our commitment uh, to ESG global standard. Great, well, congratulations on all those new campuses and on, on those achievements as well. Um, with that, what opportunities are you most excited about? Yeah, thank you. Uh, the uh, new year, uh, will bring us uh, new opportunities. We believe there are unchanged uh, growing global demand for new medical technologies and innovative drugs. Science and technology keep progressing. The innovators continue to emerge and the mankind's pursuit of health and longevity won't change. These are the long-term trend that will continue to drive our industry forward. Great. Well, thank you so much for speaking with me today about Wuxi Aptech, and we wish you the best in the new year. Thank you, Karina.